create a probability distribution for the number of tails in two coin tosses. What that means is take two coins and toss them only once, only once. And what are the possible outcomes you can think of? You can have two heads, you can have one head, one tail, you can have one tail, one head, or you can have two tails. So the possible tails, number of tails for the first outcome is zero, second outcome is one, third one is one, and fourth one is two. How do we create a probability distribution out of it? We choose our x and we find our p of x. So our x, we already have it here. We don't even have to choose it. We already computed it. That x is nothing but number of tails in two coin tosses. Uh, we have zero tails. We have one tail. We have two tails. How many times zero tails shows up? Uh, it shows up one out of four times. So the probability is 0 0.25. One tail showed up two out of four times. So that means it's 0 0.50. And two tails showed up one out of four times. So it's 0 0.25 again. Let's check whether this is a probability distribution or not. So first condition says, each random variable has to have associated probability. In our case, yes, we do. First condition satisfies. Second condition, sum of the probability respect to each random variable has to be equals one. In our case, yes, it does. Second condition satisfies. Third one, the probability of each random variable has to be between zero and one. 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.25. Yes, all of them are between 0 and 1. So all three conditions for a probability distribution satisfies here, satisfy here. That means whatever the probability distribution we created here by tossing two coins at the same time only once, it's making perfect sense. Hope this will help you.